Hey, what's up guys? So this is part one of the series of video detailing the building of my Tokyo station like layout. Check out the introduction video if you haven't watched it yet. This video will be about building the base. The total dimensions are 240 by 70 centimeter, split in two pieces to better handle them. The idea was to use it was to use plywood boards, but then I went to my Brico store and the guy there suggested I used MDF, which is a bit heavier and harder to work with than plywood, but it doesn't work as much. So I went with MDF. I also bought two by three centimeters spruce frames that will run all around the edges of the board and also in the middle um, to make the structure more rigid and ensure there is little to no deformation. Also, all around the edge of the board, I put a frame sticking out from the base by one centimeter to act uh, as a train stopper just in case some trains decide to derail. And uh, also it will keep the ballast from falling off since the track will be very close to the edge. Before cutting and drilling, I laid down all the track pieces and I tested all the trains just to check that they all run fine. Then I move into my underground dungeon to cut the spruce frames and nail them to the MDF base and then paint the whole thing. Unfortunately, these spruce frames were not exactly straight. They all uh, had uh, quite a lot of bend, so gluing them first to the base didn't really work as planned. The only way was just to use nails. But in uh, one way or another, I managed to put everything together. The next step was to paint the whole thing with a color as close as possible to the TV bench in my living room. I put three layers of paint, letting it dry for a few hours in between. This adventure took me about the whole day. So I brought the two halves back into my living room, laid down the tracks again, marked on the base where all the tracks would go, and started drilling the holes for the feedback and turnout cables. I have around 80 cables that come from the track and have to go to some DCC device underneath. I'll do a separate video on how I connect everything into my DCC system. While I was working with the tracks, I realized that it would have been nicer to have the inner track, the one that goes in a loop, on a higher ground, so it will not disappear behind the Shinkansen platforms. I put underneath the tracks a two centimeter thick extruded polystyrene foam. You can find it in any Brico DYI store. Um, it's used to insulate uh, buildings. I still have the tracks for the elevated track in a bag, but I cannot lay them down before uh, putting the platforms underneath, so they will have to wait. So now we have the base, the tracks and all the cables hanging. In the next video I'll show you how I connect everything together. So see you next time, bye!